थैंक यू श्री के एस राव सर फॉर कमिंग टू दी फिफ्टीन वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट कन्वेंशन एट मुंबई होटल ललित ऑन डिसम्बर सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू Uh, since you have seen, you know, more than 600 mutual fund distributors are there at today at the event. How do you feel these mutual fund distributors are playing a important role for the development of this uh, industry? Yeah, thanks, Vas. Uh, first of all, congratulations to American Academy on the way you are growing, and it's the 15th, which speaks uh, louder the way you connected today, and uh, the robust audience which are coming across uh, uh, shows your presence across the country. and thanks for being a partner learning partners for us at aditya birla we are grateful to you all and uh, it is a journey which we started 10 years back and uh, i look forward this journey can go much much bigger and i am very glad uh, uh, to see larger audience and learned audience and the next generation and they are participating uh, conversely uh, uh, to build their skills and coming on a saturday spending on a saturday engaging it was a very uh, atmosphere itself is charging and kudos to your entire team for uh, framing this and i look at mfds and rias today uh, will play a much bigger role i mean uh, true to the topic which i spoke today about amrit kal for india if it is an amrit kal for india it is an amrit kal for investor when the amrit kal for investor can happen only when you have a right mfd or right advisor or right financial coach uh, because it's one side you need ease of doing business one side you need a right advice it is a high tech and high touch can go together this is where the mfds can play a vital role because they are with the financial coaches it is market cannot will go only upside there could be a ups and downs their responsibility is to manage emotions and things are changing faster i think uh, again and i congratulate afm for making their skill upskilling uh, certifications certifications giving the recognition to them but the knowledge also giving them the confidence that's where i look at today mfds today in the industry they contribute over 50% uh, of the total business and 70% to the retail business and uh, as i look at today the m number of mfds are growing to grow up in a bigger way and as i also look at today business of mfd is also is growing to go up i mean it's a 10x 15x it's all depends on the individual probably they need to come to your ladder how they can get from cfgp to cfd cwm thank you so much sir and we also cherish the our journey of 10 years together as and thank you uh, touched upon this topic so uh, like you rightly mentioned journey from cfgp to cwm i think uh, with your blessing we have already trained more than 15000 chartered uh, financial goal planners and advanced goal, uh, financial goal planners in india so how do you see these kinds of certification uh, including chartered wealth manager plays a pivotal role in uh, upskilling and uh, like since we are talking on the you know these mutual fund distributors a very important role to play and develop the industry so how do you think that what what percentage of the skilling is actually required out of the whole effort they are trying to build their business out of that i look at this vast uh, for everyone who want to grow their business the only way you can grow in the business and uh, i was talking today about uh, uh, scalability and sustainability and uh, sustainability and scalability ke liye it's a uh, Uh, learning and relearning will be the most important part uh, while un- unlearning is part of it i look at what percentage i look at everyone need to come there coming back to your chartered wealth manager uh, today the profile of the clients are changing and the people are becoming uh, richer day by day i can see wealthy clients they are looking at beyond one product and then when i look at chartered wealth manager as a curriculum it covers the entire aspect of the wealth management in addition to that i look at your estate planning piece can be the most important plan and the last but not the least if i look at 2047 from now next 24 years uh, the number of people above 60 e is going to double or quadruple it is a 3x and in such case where the country where we don't have a social security uh, creating a retirement planners will play a vital role one it gives a constant business to the distributor but it is solving enriching the lives of the people i um, you know like you know we talk about uh, uh financial advisory is creating the wealth and chartered wealth management cwm could be a foundation and this with this if you can do the estate planning and retirement planning right you are only inspiring the trust and you are passing the wealth to the next generation all which you are enriching the lives of your investors and that's where all the whole intention of all of us together to do it i think that's a brilliant idea for a 360 degree approach for any mfd or a financial advisor to opt in to scale up their uh, business Uh, so my third question to you would be that how do you see this uh, uh, investor awareness or investor financial well-being 
or uh, you know financial literacy at large in india and uh, what what are the pain points uh, you know uh, because you have been into this investor education for so many years and i think birla has won so many awards at the birla sun life which uh, in a series of uh, years you have won so many awards in this field so i think you would be the best person whom i i could ask this question that what could be the pain point and how you see that financial literacy landscape in india yeah, i look at this not a pain point it is a i look at in a different way how do i reach uh, to the various segments i mean probably uh, it is like you know what is the problem i am going to solve and uh, uh, why the financial literacy is equally important probably it is important to all the 140 crores of indians but if i can look at other way around those who are wealthy those who are filing that list it returns those who are into not only the basic financial literacy you need to go little advanced financial literacy and it's going to be and the pain point i look at is uh, like you know one how do i reach to the customer how do i reach to the investor what is that i need to convey am i conveying the part am i conveying the all today from the mutual funds i scar talk only mutual funds somebody talks only about insurance can the pain point is how i can make this curriculum is a holistic and the pain point if i look at is how do i teach this at a school level then who is my evangelist can i like you know i look at recently i could come across uh, if i train the teachers they can make lot of difference than the training the other people because they spread that uh, there are the influencers and the young minds they are going to ignite and then uh, community engagement is the best way to reach out to the people and uh, last but not the least we speak many languages and uh, i can't speak just in english and hindi to the uh, common man can i talk to him or her in her own language and make disorganized and probably you are the right guys and uh, you have an uh, you know the kind of content you have created and uh, don't look at overnight we educate all of people it happens gradually today we have a four crores of mutual fund investors tomorrow we have a 10 crores probably educating even the evolved investors is also equally important because one emotion may kill your entire wealth creation process it is a learning it's ongoing it is uh, uh, you know uh, let there be a pain point it will be a pleasure point for us to go and serve as it is rightly said rome was not built in a day so you need to spend time energy and lot of effort goes in this and i am really hopeful that very soon we see a financial literate india uh, so my last question to you uh, how do you see this 15th uh, annual wealth management the mega event of uh, afm Uh, contributes to the industry and how you feel about this event after being here uh, first let me congratulate you once again it's a uh, earlier it used to be an annual event happening only in mumbai now you have taken uh, mera bharat mahan across the four zones and uh, like you know today if i have a 600 the next 600 can be in south next 600 can be a east 600 can be a north and you know then it it's a, the way it happening this 600 will be going to talk to another 600 guys and which is definitely spreading that and each of the 600 who are inside some of them i know uh, they have 1000 crores of aem and you know the in the distributor with the 1000 crores of aem he got a 1000 clients uh, imagine you are not just 600 you touch you have touched 6 lakhs of people i keep continuing this and uh, do it across maybe this time you have a four zones next time can you look at you know maybe 15 states or 16 states and uh, if there is the, and I, and i also look at uh, the go it in a virtual way go it in a vernacular way uh, then make this as a process uh, ongoing and uh, you know probably i look at this in a you know to the mutual fund industry we talk about sip right apne jo kaam ke liye bhi aapko alag sip chahiye wo sip hai aapka sankalp hona hai sankalp se siddhi aapko ichcha hona hai ichcha se kriya shakti then aapke liye wo p prayatna hota hai then aapke liye prasiddhi zarur milta hai thank you so very much sir so i'm sure uh, we'll try and give our best of the effort to reach out the maximum of the cities in india not only to 15 city or 16 cities but definitely the number of states and the union territories including if i have to say so we'll try to reach maximum of the yeah, places yeah. which we have so can we sir uh, you know we because we have been promoting cwm and uh, afm here so can we jointly say cwm sahi hai cwm, CWM sahi, sahi hai, hai.